Petty Crocker in a crock pot. Let's go see what Petty's got. Petty Crocker in a crock pot. Let's go see what Petty's got. Let's go see what Petty's got. Let's go see what Petty's got. Hello everyone. I'm just showing you all the ingredients that I will be using for today's dish. I will be attempting to make beef stroganoff. Here are all my ingredients. Got your meat, your golden mushroom soup, a little bit of beef broth. This is just a measuring spoon. Worcestershire sauce, some onion powder, and some black pepper. Okay, let's get to the good part. So, I've seen a lot of different variations of this recipe online. But, I'm just going to freestyle this. This is not a technical recipe. I'm basically doing a mashup of all the recipes that I saw off of line. I'm just cutting open the package for my meat. And then we're going to put this into the crock pot. Everyone that I asked about learning how to cook said the crock pot will be your best friend. So here it is. Say hello to my best friend, y'all. Ain't she cute? I know she is. Should I get a spoon? I feel like I need a spoon. BRB! I have already pre sprayed my crock pot with non stick cooking spray, so we should be good on that end. There we go. Got our meat dumped in there. I have a little over a pound of meat. I'm not sure if I need two cans of this or one, but we'll see how it looks. If it looks like it, ooh, that's quite a lot, actually. Will I need more? Uh, what do y'all think? Mm, I think we might be okay. I'm just gonna Put out the rest of whatever is in here, which is not very much, but I think I'm going to move this so I can get a little bit better light. Is that better? Oh, I think so. Sorry about the space, you guys. I live in a very small apartment with a limited kitchen, so. That was just a little bit of garlic for seasoning. All of the recipes I saw online for beef stroganoff had mushrooms in it, but I do not like mushrooms. That's why I used the golden mushroom soup. However, feel free to do you. It's your kitchen. I'm gonna add a little bit of this beef broth in here. Just a little. Actually, I don't even know why I made this much. Oh well. Then I'm going to add a smidge of onion powder because all the recipes I saw offline also add onion powder. And I don't like onions either, so just a couple of shakes, no real estimation. Uh, is that everything? I believe so. The broth. I'm going to do a smidge of pepper. Just the smidge and a smidge, one tablespoon worth of 
Worcestershire sauce. One table worth of Worcestershire. Gotta get that in there. Mm, is that enough? A little bit more. It's not quite the whole spoon. Okay, so I have decided to not use both cans. I think we can make do with just this one can. And I'm going to stir it up a little bit. I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like inside. Can y'all see that? Looks decent to me. It smells pretty decent, so. Ooh, it's a little something on my crock pot. I'm going to give this a quick stir. To combine this actually smells really good but I'm sure smells as well as looks can be deceiving so we will see it looks much better being stirred so hmm. there might be hope for this dish yet y'all Mind you, I've never ever made this before, so really hoping it is good because I have no backup plan. <sighs> Gonna give y'all one final look at the product before we turn this baby on. I'm gonna set it for high on high for four to five hours you could do six to eight on low whatever is your preference i don't feel like waiting all day i will be running errands but they should not take that long and i'm pretty sure i will be hungry when i get back if you happen to see clips of me in this video please ignore i look like your grandmother right now so i'm gonna put the lid on it get rid of all of this trash and this last step that I'm about to do is 100% optional can you see that camera please ignore my cracked screen the struggle is real y'all I told you before in the first video I'm going to set that for four hours on high. Or you could just look at the time. It's about to be one o'clock, so by five it should be done. But you never know, just in case. Some people need reminders. So we're going to press start. Might help if I turned it on. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you back at five o'clock, and we'll see how this turned out. Wish me luck. Okay, you guys, I'm back from running my errands. It's been a little past four hours, but you can do it from four to five hours. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I stirred it, it looks a little runny. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take all the meat out and add some cornstarch to the gravy, juice, whatever you want to call it, that has been made and stir it back up and then dump the meat back in and we'll see after that. I got my slotted spoon here so that all of the juice that is there will drain. I've pre-made my 
cornstarch slurry to save time. So we're just gonna, are you all the way mixed in? It looks like it has started to settle. So we're just gonna pour that in there. Okay, that was a hot mess, but we're gonna stir that. I've turned it off, but I'm gonna turn it on low. I don't know if that's actually a good idea or not, but from what I've been reading online, it says it says to keep it in there and cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not gonna do that. I don't think it will take that long. I'm just gonna let it, give it enough time for it to thicken up. That's all we gonna do. I'm gonna put this dish away. In the meantime, I will be getting out one of the most important or most classically talked about ingredients for stroganoff. Sour cream. Some of the recipes I saw online did say you could also use cream cheese if you don't want to use sour cream, but since this is my first time, I'm going to try sour cream. They also had, you could mix the sour cream with a little bit of Dijon mustard. I have Dijon mustard. Here is my Dijon mustard. I do have some, but however, it's looking a little crazy in this package. So we might not be using this today. Actually, it smells good, but it looked kind of crazy. We might try Dijon next time, you guys, but this time we ain't gonna try it, okay? I'm gonna look and see how my sauce is looking. It has not been 15 minutes. Never planned on waiting the full 15. Let's see if it's any thicker. It does not look any thicker. Should I wait the full? I'm like, I only did one tablespoon worth of the slurry. Maybe I should have done two tablespoons. Mm. Y'all hear how runny that is? <laughs> we just gonna stir this. It might be all right. Maybe I should put some flour in it. People say flour is a good thickening agent also. This is just one tablespoon of all purpose flour. Now that doesn't make it stick. If that doesn't make it thick, I don't know what will. So we're just gonna stir that also. Ooh, there are some lumps in there. Might have been a mistake to use the flour, but 
too late now. It's already in there. However, I do think it has gotten substantially thicker, even though it has not even been in that long. Mm. No, it's still pretty runny. You know what? Bump it. We're going to keep it. I'm adding in the sour cream because I'm hungry. I don't have all day. I'm already irritated because the people at the auto center place took like three times as long as they usually do to clean my car. Not to clean my car, to give me an oil change. So we'll leave that in there and get to opening this sour cream right there now this is a brand new sour cream because y'all know I don't be cooking like that like what would I use sour cream for I don't know how much sour cream to add However, I'm going to do like, oh, what does this say? To prolong freshness, completely remove and discard this full seal. Huh. Thank you, Daisy. But yeah, I'm going to do like the commercial says and do a dollop of Daisy. I'm just going to double check that all of the lumps are smushed out before I move on to the next step. I'm gonna actually put the lid on and maybe it'll melt some more. We're gonna double check on our sauce. Okay, I feel like it looks more like the ones that I see in the YouTube videos, so that's a good sign, right? This sour cream is not melting enough for me. But you know what? We might just have to have some lumps because I ain't waiting no more! Like, if y'all think I'm waiting anymore, you got another thing coming. It's a little thicker. I'm like, I done added everything I could add. I done added flour. I done added cornstarch. Some people claim that the cream cheese is creamier or something or makes it thicker. But I don't want to do sour cream and cream cheese. So... We're just going to do cream cheese today. Point blank period, okay? I said I was going to put the meat back in, but now I'm unsure if I want to. The next important thing you want in your video, something to spoon the, uh, something to spoon the meat and sauce over, something classically used to put with beef stroganoff is usually rice or egg noodles, and it was one other thing, but I can't remember that, but here's what I use, plain old egg noodles, extra broad. I've already boiled my noodles. Boop. While I was waiting for this to thicken up and whatnot, I'm gonna get me a plate. Put some egg noodles on it, and we gonna do this thing. Y'all ready for this?
Y'all see how little space I have to work with? I don't know how much I'm going to eat. I don't even know if it's going to be good. So I guess this should be enough. We'll do like one more spoonful, maybe. I'll do a little more. There we go. No need to add the sour cream because we already did it. There we go. And I guess I'm gonna use this one because this one has the slots in it. Okay, you guys, ready for the verdict? I just tasted it and it's not bad. I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley on it, you know, for color. Not a lot, because I don't even know what parsley tastes like. I don't want it to be nasty and ruin the dish. Mm. Just a little, 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 little bit more. And there you have it. Beef stroganoff. And I've had beef stroganoff before that I've tasted from K&W or places like that. And I feel like this is pretty decent. You see it? I feel like the color looks a little white and creamier, but it is still not all the way, you know, the flour and sour cream and stuff was not all the way blended, but we did it like dora say namusimos we did it all right you guys thank you for tuning in cannot wait to do this with you all again comment below what you thought of the stroganoff if you have any suggestions for next time if you know for a fact that the dijon is good and would have changed my life let me know this actually looks like a lot more. I knew I shouldn't have put this much on there, but that's fine. I'm going to pack this up in my lunch, probably take it to work tomorrow. All right, y'all, I'm out.